Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, which is your station where you get to watch and learn. I'm your tutor, Mr. Mongi Francis, taking you through physics form 3. And I would like you to pay attention throughout the lesson and follow the lesson through. Uh, what are the goals of this lesson? By the end of this lesson, we'll have achieved the following goals. So, you'll be able to state the different types of collisions. Head on collision. When this happens, in case bodies are moving in opposite direction, momentum has direction, then one direction is treated as positive while the other direction is treated as negative. So in calculations, the velocity of one of the colliding bodies must be entered as negative number. For instance, in the diagram here, so we have two bodies which are colliding head on. So one of the direction to the left is considered to be negative and direction of motion to the right is considered to be positive. So when these two bodies collide, uh, one thing or two things may happen. That is they may collide, get uh, embedded together or join together and move in the same direction or they can separate, move in the same direction, or the bodies can also uh, separate and move in opposite direction. So let's try to look at this type of collision. We have uh, elastic and we have inelastic collision. The difference basically is due to when is momentum conserved and when is not momentum conserved. So a car of mass 1,000 kg moving at 20 meters per second makes a head-on collision with a lorry of mass 2,000 kg moving at 16 meters per second. So calculate their common velocity after the collision if they remain attached to each other. So we need to identify whether this is an, an, in, an elastic collision or an inelastic collision. So one of the direction must be considered to be positive and the other direction must be considered to be uh, negative. So let's get to finding the solution. Total momentum before the collision given by mass multiplied by the velocity of each vehicle. Therefore, the car whose mass is 1,000 kg multiplied by uh, its velocity gives us a 200 uh, that is, it gives us 20,000 kilogram meters per second. What about the momentum of the lolly before colliding? The mass is 2,000 two, uh, 2, kg, that is 2 tons, and it co uh, it's moving with a velocity of 16 meters per second, which we have considered to be a negative, since it is moving towards the opposite direction of the car, and this gives us a momentum of 3,000 uh, of 32,000 uh, uh, kilograms meters per second. Therefore, total initial momentum is the sum of the two, which gives us a total of uh, 12,000 kilogram meters per second. Now, what about momentum? What if is momentum conserved in the collision? So, momentum after collision is. Uh, 12 meters per second since the bodies uh, that is 12,000 kilogram meters per second this means that momentum is conserved so total momentum is equals to total mass times velocity and since the bodies move together we have the sum of the mass which is therefore 3,000 kilogram multiplied by the common velocity and this gives us since there is a uh, conservation of momentum 12,000 are divided by the uh, total mass giving us V as the common velocity which is 4 meters per second. So the lorry and the car combination will move in the original direction of the lorry. Now let's try to tackle the same same question once again and see whether we can be able to answer uh, appropriately by identifying which type of collision is this. In this case now uh, the bodies uh, the, the mass is a thousand kilogram and the mass uh, the velocity is 30 meters per second 
and they collide head on so identify which type of collision is this you can refer this to students book 3 for the edition or you can give us a text through the numbers on your screen or give us a visit through uh, our youtube channel erimu tv or facebook page uh, erimu tv or send us a tweet through the numbers on your screen so once again i'm your tutor mr mongi stay tuned for more lessons to come